I'm Mr. Rohit Jain uh, and I specialize in uh, hip and knee surgery and I'm an orth orthopedic consultant surgeon. Cartilage uh, is uh, present in between the two moving uh, elements of the joints and it acts as a shock absorber. It's the breakdown of the cartilage which leads to a condition called osteoarthritis. The classical symptoms of osteoarthritis of the hip joint is pain which is present in the groin. Pain can be anywhere between a dull ache or a discomfort. It could be just activity related. In later stages, it can be present even at rest. It can interfere with your sleep. Pain is also associated with stiffness and stiffness is usually present after a prolonged period of rest. So for example, if you wake up in the morning and it takes a while for you to get going, because of the hip joint is not moving, uh, that's the classical stiffness uh, which you will get. Along with pain, stiffness, you may also experience a loss of function where simple day-to-day -day activities of life can be very difficult to do. Simple things like getting down to the feet to put your shoes and socks on, you might struggle. And these are the classical features and symptoms of osteoarthritis of the hip joint. The treatment options for uh, osteoarthritis of the hip can vary uh, depending upon the stage of osteoarthritis. Especially in early cases where there's mild to moderate osteoarthritis of the hip, the treatment is predominantly non-operative. So it's a conservative method of management which will include pain management which could involve just over-the-counter medication in the form of ibuprofen or it may require further prescriptive uh, medications along with it can be used with injection of local anesthetic and steroid inside the hip joint. Along with the pain management the second very important arm of management is lifestyle modification and which involves losing weight, doing exercises which are predominantly non-impact strengthening and stretching exercises. So things like static bike, swimming, and aerobics is uh, the key uh, exercises which you can do. In advanced cases, uh, the treatment will be predominantly surgical and total hip replacement still remains the gold standard treatment for treatment of advanced osteoarthritis of the hip joint. So as the name suggests, uh, the total hip replacement involves uh, resurfacing of the socket and then lining it with either a ceramic liner or a plastic liner, which is a highly cross-linked polyethylene. We take the uh, head, which, is, which forms a ball of the hip joint, and replace it with either a metal ball or a ceramic ball. And we fix the whole device either using a cement or a non-cemented technology. So enhanced recovery um, process uh, is actually an evidence-based approach uh, towards uh, making patients feel better and recover quickly from their surgery. The research suggests uh, that as soon as we get the patients up and going after the surgery, the recovery is a lot better. At one Ashford hospital, we've got an enhanced recovery process which is well embedded uh, in the system and it allows and enables the patient uh, to go home anywhere between 24 hours to 72 hours after a total hip replacement surgery. On an average, the patient will take approximately six weeks and by six weeks, the patients are in their normal routine of day-to-day -day activities. A total hip replacement is one of the top five surgeries of the modern medicine, which have created a huge impact in improving the quality of the life. The patient satisfaction rate are as high as 98 to 99%. One Ashford Hospital um, is one of the best hospitals where I work in the, the team right from the door to the ward to the theatre 
is absolutely spot on and they are committed in providing the best quality care to the patient.